So, I frequently get asked this question by my university students who are learning and exploring the world of networking for the first time. Hey Robin, what the heck is SD-WAN? Now, if you're already a networking guru, this answer may be obvious to you, but you've seen the title of this video and decide to click it anyway. So, let's start at the beginning. SD-WAN stands for Software Defined Wide Area Network, and it's a technology that simplifies the management and operation of a wide area network, or WAN if you want to use abbreviations, by using software to automatically find the best route for your data to travel. Now, this is different from your traditional instruction-defined network, which requires you to spend hours of your life hunched over an eye-straining terminal window, looking at the black and yellow, and just kind of tippy-tapping all day. Now, for an analogy, we'll keep it high-level to begin with. Picture this. You're in a city with a web of roads, streets, highways. SD-WAN is like a super smart GPS that helps your data travel smoothly and efficiently through the internet while traditional instructional-led networking would only tell you how to get to the end of the street. You might be wondering, why do we need SD-WAN? Well, imagine you're planning a road trip and you must navigate through traffic jams, construction zones, tolls, and road closures. That's like your traditional WAN. It's complicated, time-consuming, and honestly costly. Now, SD-WAN swoops in and gives your data the power to avoid obstacles and reach its destination faster and more efficiently. Before SD-WAN, networks were built on a per-instruction basis. So instead of having Google Maps plan your entire route end-to-end -end and dynamically update your route based on traffic and road closures, you would only be given the instruction to get to the end of the street. And no more. That was it. That was all you got. Now, once you're at the end of the street, your next instruction is given. No forewarning, no future sight, just plain raw directions. Now, you might think that this sounds inefficient, and well, it was. Now, SD-WAN has been an absolute game changer for the network in networking industry, and it has dramatically improved operational efficiency across the board. So, let's highlight a few benefits and advantages of SD-WAN, though this list is far from exhaustive. Now, I like to think of in metaphors, metaphors is how I run my life, and I like to think of SD-WAN as some form of magical smoothie, an amalgamation of good. Now, this magical smoothie gives you lots of powers, lots of benefits, such as better performance. Like a good old Olympic sprinter, SD-WAN gets your data where it needs to go, quick and nimble. This is achieved through technology such as application-aware packet routing, best path selection, and preventative mitigation of congested links. Now, it also offers cost savings. SD-WAN is like that savvy shopper that knows how to find the best deals on connectivity. Now, by analyzing every route before traffic is sent, the most efficient option is chosen, preventing erroneous traffic, back black holing, and wasted efforts. It also offers increased security. It's like having a digital bodyguard that keeps your network safe and sound. Now, most SD-WAN vendors have inbuilt network access control elements as the software-defined aspect extends awareness just past source and destination. It's no longer an IP to IP pair. It also offers simplified management. Now, SD-WAN is that super efficient traffic cop. They're directing and detecting your data without breaking a sweat. This provides you with a fantastic centralized oversight of all your information and policies in one place. All right, let's get into something a little more technical. Don't worry, we're not going too deep. Now, you know that SD-WAN has benefits and advantages, but there are some key features you should always look at when selecting an SD-WAN vendor, because there's many out there. So, what makes an SD-WAN so special? Well, here are the features that you really need to pay attention to. The first, in my perspective, is having centralized control. Now, imagine you have a master remote control that manages your entire network from one place. That would be cool, right? That would be easy. But with SD-WAN, this is a reality. Now, SD-WAN should have a clear separation between the control plane and the data plane to ensure that your entire network operations can be configured in a single command center while also removing potential risks to your network. After all, configuration utilities might break. And in the event that there's a bug or the configuration utility breaks, you do not want to impact your network traffic. 
So single management and a control plane, network and plane separation is great. The second is dynamic path selection. Now, the greatest networking minds in the world can be directly compared to chess grandmasters. They always have been, always will be. Smart people would be smart people. However, by using SD-WAN, you automatically gain the Grandmaster title, as the software is always thinking several moves ahead to find the best route for your data. Now, in the event a network condition changes, whether this be packet loss, latency spikes, congestion or other, the SD-WAN Negamind is already thinking four steps ahead. So you don't have to. Now, option three is scalability. Just like a rubber band, SD-WAN should be able to stretch and grow to accommodate your network needs. This means that adding additional sites, users, or data centers to your existing WAN fabric should be a breeze. Software is scalable, and your network also should mirror this. Now, the scalability removes the worry of doing future capacity planning, as your SD-WAN of choice should always be able to accommodate your scale. Choosing the right SD-WAN vendor is like finding the perfect ice cream flavor. You've got to know what you like, but sometimes the answer is obvious, and uh, if anybody's wondering, it's Raspberry Ripple every time, Raspberry Ripple. Now, when it comes to selecting an SD WAN, Dave, you have to ask yourself a few questions before you can understand what is right for you. And these are the things I like to ask. The first is, does your vendor have a proven track record and strong customer testimonials? Does your vendor offer comprehensive security features? Does this vendor seamlessly integrate with your existing infrastructure? Does this vendor provide excellent customer support? There's just a few. There are many, many more, but we're starting at the high level. Now, if you ask me right now, Robin, who is the ultimate SD-WAN vendor? I would come back with a biased response and say Kato Networks, because Kato Networks offers the fully robust, scalable, and elastic SD-WAN service offering spanning 75 plus points of presence around the world while also delivering, securing, and protecting all areas of network traffic. If you're on your SD-WAN mitigation journey, or migration journey, I should say, and you've not heard of Kato before, seriously, check out the Kato Network's website to learn about SD-WAN, SASE, and SSE. Until next time, folks, I've been Robin, and you stay safe out there.